all you grunts, grab your choppers. Oh my god! In my country, we cook very good. We lose. We lose. Okay, okay, I know, I know. Another roguelike. You probably see a thousands upon thousands of these on the Steam store or Xbox or whatever you play. But this one is based on having minions who do damage for your necromancer. You upgrade a phylactery to get stronger and destroy minions. The Steam store page says, create your horde, players Moriana, a powerful necromancer, and raise massive armies of the dead. Slay your enemies, resurrect them, and use them to conquer the fantasy world. With the souls of the fallen, you could upgrade your phylactery and return it stronger after each demise. Death is just the beginning. Its release date is February 29th, 2024. Its publisher is Polished Games. Published by Polished Games. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the same of Bare Bones. Uh, the background and level design was very lackluster, but honestly, the, and also the first wave that attacks you should be small guys, not like the big axe guys. It should just be a bunch of small guys that like attack, like, aggro onto you, but that's just me being nitpicky. I enjoyed the time I spent with this demo, and for sure it was worth your time to check out if you like roguelikes. I'd rate this title 5 out of 10. It's really middle, run of the mill, but felt like I should include this one due to being a lesser known take on the genre. Okay, okay, this title, this game, caught me by so much surprise, you, you don't understand. It's a timing-based arcade strategy game. You have one bullet, and you need to uh, unalive all the cultists that ruined your character's life. Yes, there is a story too, it's not just killing things. It's not, it's not just oh, killing he... things. Oh, he's pissing. Let's see what the Steam page store says. On a deadly road trip into darkness, control the path of a single bullet, and unleash, unleash a fury of vengeance on the sinister cult that ruined your life in this tactical puzzle shooter. Its release date is, to be, is TBA, or to be announced, developed by Rene Rother, publisher, Devolver Digital. You know, I'm honestly, let's just go ahead and admit this, massive fan of Devolver Digital. They're marketing is just different it's just so different and amazing and the way they present all these amazing games recently okay this game is a hundred percent polished and feels like something that i can see myself playing for hours while laughing at, at of course however i pull off over completing the mission this game is a hundred percent polished and feels like something i can see myself playing for hours while i laugh at however i complete the mission in some stupid way there's different ways and different mechanics and ways to manipulate the bullet's path. And it depends on hitting these glowy weak spots or bouncing off someone's head or redirecting the shot midair. It, it, it's really, it's an interesting, after hitting certain, like you have to hit these critical spots actually to be able to recurve the bullet. It's not like you can just do it at on, on whim. You have to complete a goal to be able to redirect the bullet. It's really nice. Anyways. The system feels really fun, and once again, a really great add to your Steam list. You should check it out, check out the abilities, and if the demo is still available, check it out. I'd rate this game a solid 8 out of 10. It has an aesthetic, and the sound design, and the cyber-like distortion, and heavy ambiance with the, with the revenge story. It's just, it's just instant ad. It's a beautiful game. I feel like the first thing I ran into with the, the demo, other than PC problems, is the way this, like how steep the learning curve in this game compared to other RTSs I've played. It's up there with Rat and Reich and just some games that are just brutal. The first Age of Empires is just rough. Uh, early StarCraft game is really rough. Those are just some examples. But it's familiar. It has this familiar feel to different units do different things. The, the rock, paper, scissors, basically. It felt good when making a play, even if I lost the match anyways, versus the AI. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. I played the first mission that's available in the demo on easy difficulty at that, 
just to try to get hang of things and end up restarting the play my play session every single time. But on my fourth playthrough, I actually feel like I did something and even almost capped an objective before all my infantry were just slaughtered. Now, for rated, I would rate it a solid 8 out of 10. Just for my taste. It's a really good game. I just didn't have the patience with all the PC problems and Next Best already ending and everything going on right now. A great game to take your time with and don't get too frustrated. Take your time, you know, learn the mechanics. You'll be better as you play. That's one of those games. It's a slow burner. It will for sure test you in some moments with the movement of vehicles just not moving when I ask them to run away. Anyways, on to the next game as the art speaks for the next one. Sadly for this game, I couldn't download the demo in time and it went away due to my PC having power supply issues and next best ending. But I fixed that now. So this game is, has an amazing art style choice and just even the trailer just does a ton of justice. The Steam page store describes this game as Save your friends, fight off the vampire apocalypse, and survive the horrors of the freshman field hockey practices in hashtag plug. A delightful zany animated dungeon crawler that blurs the line between action RPGs, hyperkinetic 90s cartoons. The release date is just 2024. Developers, Exit 73 Studios, Publisher, Humble Games. Since I couldn't actually play the demo, I just have to rate it off others gameplay and just... Wow. This game looks and feels like a modern cartoon in alternate dimension for adults. I enjoy the way this game starts off with an amazingly well animated cutscene to start the scene with the vampires being the big bad. And our EP main character gets up out of bed. And bam, you're in the game immediately with a great feeling to some games it takes just forever. And the slow build up and watching cutscenes and press WASDA and do all these things. The game kind of just drops you right in. It's kind of a nice feeling. The art is vibrant and feels wholesome. It feels like a Saturday cartoon and on a Monday and a 27 year old with no friends. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm talking to myself. Anyways, I wish I had gotten my hands on this demo before it went away so I could say more and have more gameplay to post about it, but oh well. Link down below for another person that played the gameplay you're watching right now. I would rate this game a solid 7.5 out of 10. From what I've seen and experienced, it looks well polished and like someone really took their time or a team of people, I should say, really took their time writing and programming everything. On to, your, on to our next soothing title here. really speaks for this game and this is death of a ret of the retrobate it's a point and click adventure with dark dad like humor based in a renaissance era painting it for sure caught me off guard when i was scrolling through the next fest i was just scrolling through the different like categories trying to figure out what what looks fun what looks fun sure caught me off guard though the steam page says explore a world built from the luscious landscapes turbulent towerscapes and preposterous portraits of real renaissance paintings death of the retrobate is a re revelation point and click adventure from the creator of four last things and the procession of Cal calvary its release date coming soon developer joe richardson published by joe richardson this game has a type of comedy that's not for all but it honestly kept me entertained while i played and messed around in the point and click world I think if I had to play this game on a different day, or if I found it in a different game, I would have enjoyed it more. If that makes any, even any sense. But I found the way your character moves, and the strange animations, and the mixed with the comedy and the artwork, really made this game stand out from other titles. It would probably be a sleeper title for many, and, and eventually will get some huge following, just like his other games seem to have. I usually rate this game a 7 out of 10. 
it has a feel to it that it can't be touched by some shooter or some roguelike clone. It feels fun and the art style really complements the jokes and whatever objective you're going to be dealing with. Check it out on the Steam store. A release date is to be announced. Are you tired of constantly fleeing? Of hiding? Of struggling in a world infested by zombies? Are you exhausted? Without resources, a home. Without anyone to rely on. Don't despair. Hang in there. You still have a chance. Join us. Join Paradise. Here in Paradise, everyone is safe and everything is secure thanks to our zombie guard technology. All right, you know it's not a, a top 10 or whatever these list is now at this point without a zombie game. Let's switch gears from reality to the wacky world of Paradise Z. Picture this, unicorns, rainbows, a little sprinkle of chaos. Strap in for your obligatory zombie game. This game is really relaxed and I love its overall feel. You start with nothing, have to capture a zombot to do your bidding, then get materials to craft. Then find the parts to upgrade your zombie armor or just loot enemies' weapons, whatever's easiest. I thought my game was bugged at first, but I ended up just being my lack of understanding that you have to collect, like, you start with like 25%, 50%, you have to collect multiple pieces of these armors to unlock them. I didn't understand that at all at first. Anyways, let's see what the Steam page store says about this title. Paradise isn't exactly what you hoped for, it's infested with zombies. Thankfully, you can control them. Capture them and teach them how to farm or fight. They will help you defend or camp while you explore the world looking for a new paradise. Its release date is February 29th. Developed by Echo Software. Publisher is Nacon. Nacon? I have no idea how to say that. The opening for this game is, a, is really good. It immediately pulled me in. Amazing work on the cinematics to be honest and the voice acting was, was pretty good and much better than what we had played before. Great attention grabber, I feel like this game had an easy learning curve but I'm sure it gets more complicated and complex down the way. It has a certain feel and vibe to it that weirdly reminds me of like Diablo 2. I really am impressed with this zombie game and the market for it as well. It, it really just stands out. But I can easily rate this game a solid 9 out of 10. It has lots to do, and I barely touched the surface with the hour or so I put into this demo. The last title on this list is Marvel Champions. I guarantee this will dominate your TikTok or short speed. I guarantee it. Especially if you enjoy watching your favorite content to be some douche talking on a podcast or something like that. It's called Marvel Champions. It's a game where you where you race your marble through some obstacles, that's it. The scene page describes this game as roll your way through intricate tracks, overcome obstacles, and rely on your skills to triumph over the over your rivals. Climb divisions, enter tournaments, collect marbles, and complete in daily trials to become the marble champion. Release date coming soon. Developer Luck I'm not even gonna try to say his last name, published by Luck himself. I feel like this game would have killed it back in 2010 through 2016 on some site and then becoming some app played by millions of drooling kids. But anyways, this game was okay for what it is. I had higher hopes for some reason, but oh well. I enjoyed my time with it nonetheless and I don't judge the dev, the dev for making a game like this either. I guarantee it'll be trendy at some point or just used at some point for some kind of content creation. I'd read this game a solid 4 out of 10. I, no more, no less. It needs more of an identity than just silly wacky marbles. The levels are basic, even though it seems like you level to un to get more but levels, like like if that makes any understand like sense, you level in the game to unlock different levels to play. Anyways, I don't know. Can't keep an audience around if you have to get to level 60 to see the cool levels. This has been a fun little insight and adventure with anyone that has watched. Thank you so much for watching to the end, and maybe someday in the future I'll do a face reveal. Take care of yourself, and remember to check in on the ones you love or consider your friend, because you never know when someone is going through 
and they might need you to check on them. Later, Internet Strangers. Platinum. Platinum. Platinum.